Hi guys, I'm Crafty Nanny. Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, welcome. Today we're going to be making this absolutely adorable rustic pillow. It's a no-sew pillow. As you can see, I have done some sewing on it, but this is completely optional. So for just the pillow by itself without all of this, what you're going to need is two pieces of fabric, equal sizes, a pair of scissors, and the stuffing. That is it. Now, if you want to create this pillow with the sewing and where the writing is, then you're going to need a paintbrush, a Sharpie marker, a sewing needle, some pins, thread, and some either some fabric paint or some craft paint. I'm using Waverly Chalk White craft paint for this. And with that being said, let's get to crafting. If you've chosen to do the pillow like me, then we're uh, gonna go ahead and write. What we're gonna write today is cabin, and we're gonna write it in a Sharpie marker. And I'm just gonna take this little angled brush right here, and I'm gonna literally draw right over the word cabin with my paint. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe too and hit the bell then you'll get the notification okay, there we go the word cabin is all done if you are doing uh, this extra piece on your pillow you want to go ahead and pin it wherever you want on your pillow if you are creating this no sew you're gonna need about four inches extra fabric on all sides so this particular pillow is going to be a 12 by 12 square so I actually cut it at 14 by 14 square. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and sew this up. And what I did is I doubled my thread. So this is two pieces. Now I'm gonna start at the bottom and just come up through the top like so. I'm gonna start in the corner. Now this is my top piece. I've set my bottom piece aside. Now the way that I do it is I just go at an angle to the outside of my fabric. So as you can see, there's like a little angle. And then I go back in, and I mean, however far you decide to do your stitches depends on how, how uh, rustic, I guess, you want it to be. You do not have to sew this. You can just put some glue fabric glue on it and slap it on there and you wouldn't even have to worry about this at all. So I'm going to go ahead and finish going all the way around this and then I will get right back to you. So this is all finished as you can see it's done. Now I actually like how rugged the stitching is. So now we'll go ahead and we're going to do the cutting part. What you're going to do is you're going to take your two pieces of equal fabric and you're going to stick them together just like this one right on top of the other. But if you have a piece of fabric that's different on both sides, make sure the top is what you want to look at when you're done with your pillow and the bottom is what you want to look at when you're done with your pillow. Now, with that being said, if you remember, I had said to cut to, when you've cut your fabric, to add four inches all the way around. And this is why, because we're going to be making strips. The first step is to cut one four inch section in height and width on every corner. Okay, now these, I'm lucky because these squares are actually four inches. So you're going to cut all four corners four inches off, just like this. So when you're done with your corner, it's going to look like this, okay? And then this side will look identical. After cutting all four corners, this is what your pillow is gonna look like. Now the next step, is you're gonna cut strips all the way down all the way around this so and you know what you don't have to be consistent with these strips at all and also if if your fabric is a little bit crooked it's okay because we're gonna be trimming off these strips anyway so go ahead and cut these all the way around and I'll be right back so after cutting all the way around this is what yours is going to look like and we have created our own fringe now, since the two pieces of fabric were together, you're going to have two fringes back to back all the way around. Now, all you have to do is take the top fringe and the bottom fringe and tie them in a simple knot. That's all there is to it. 
You're gonna go ahead and tie this all the way around. Leave yourself about four to six inches in width though so that you can put the stuffing in. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish tying this and I'll be right back. So this is this is what I have done and this is what yours would look like right before you put your stuffing in. Now, make sure that you have a big enough space to actually get your stuffing in there. And whatever you use is really up to you. This is this is just a, just a cheap pillow that you can just rip open and it's cheaper than fiber fill. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this and fill it as full as you like. And then once that's done, then we'll finish tying these. As you can see that we went ahead and filled it up. So it's nice and fluffy, it's exactly where I want it. Now all you gotta do is just tie these the rest of the way. I only left about six inches. And right after we finish tying these, we're going to trim it. The best way to trim this is to set your pillow on the edge of the table. And you're gonna take your finger, almost like cutting hair, and just bring all these down. And you're gonna trim it back as far as you want. This is totally up to you. Now, while I'm trimming this, I wanted to mention real quick, if you do use the Waverly chalk paint on the fabric, it is recommended that you wet the fabric to make it damp and then paint on it while it is actually wet. Even though I did not do that here, that is the recommended thing to do. Here it is, it's all finished. And as you can see, this, this edging took absolutely no sewing at all. And technically, a person would not have to put this on there. They would not have to do the sewing. They could have easily used glue. So here's the two side by side that I made and I'm really happy with them. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see some more, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a, thanks a lot, and we'll talk later. Bye.